So let's talk about probabilities with or and not. So it will look like this. What is the probability of A or B? A or B means there are two different outcomes that we will consider good, two things that are okay that we're looking for. So the way we do the calculation, it's the probability of A plus the probability of B. So the or goes with addition. You might have seen that come up before. Now here's this other thing you might have seen before. We subtract off the probability of A and B. This is that overlap. If you've done a counting class, this is the one that got counted twice. So let's do some examples with my nice colorful letters here. Apologies to the colorblind among us. Um, it's red, pink, orange, orange, blue, green. So if I say, what's, if I pick, so the experiment is I'm going to mix all these up and pick a letter at random. What's the probability the letter is blue or green? That means, right, I'm happy if it's either blue or it's green. Either one of those things is happy. So one of the vocabulary words you might have is mutually exclusive. That means it can't be both at the same time. So a letter can't be blue and green at the same time. I don't want to hear about teal. Okay, so, prob so we would find the probability of blue plus the probability of green. A little squirrel there to keep those separate. Okay, well, the, I have one, two, three, four, five, six letters, and one of them is blue. So the probability of blue is, well, I'll put it right here, one sixth. The probability of green, I only have one green letter as well, one sixth. I don't have any overlap, it's blue or it's green, it can't be both. So if I add those together, the probability is two-sixths, yes, or one-third, that would be better. Okay. L or H, again, mutually exclusive. It can't be an L and an H at the same time. So one-sixth, I have one L. One-sixth, I have one H. Altogether, it's that two-sixths a.k.a. one-third. Okay. Now here's one where we do have some overlap. These two conditions, orange or vowel, are not mutually exclusive because I have a, a, an orange vowel. It gets counted twice. Okay, but if we follow our formula, I would find the probability of orange. I have two of those. Plus the probability of vowels. Looks like I have three of those. And then subtract off the probability that I have a letter that's orange and a vowel. Okay, So probability of orange, two good out of the six total possible outcomes. Vowels, one, two, one, two three vowels out of the six altogether. Minus any orange vowels, because that Orange I got counted in both groups, so that comes out. There's only one, right? Probability I picked the orange vowel is one sixth. So two, five sixths minus one, four sixths. Okay, subtracting off that overlap. All right, so now not. The probability that the letter I draw is not red. So this is the complement. Remember, complement with all the E's. Complement idea. So I could figure out how many letters are not red, right, and put that over the total possible outcomes. Totally fine to do it that way. Let me show you the complement way. We're going to do 1 minus the probability that it is red. I was going to write A, huh, red. So 1 minus, well, the probability that the letter I draw is red is 1 sixth, because there's only one red letter out of the six of all of the letters. So the probability the letter I draw is not red is 5 sixths. 1 minus 1 sixth is 5 sixths.